All right, Range fans, I'm back at it. I'm out on the range with the Savage Mark II and the Olive Drab Green Oryx chassis. The Oryx chassis is the little brother to the MDD chassis. And I tell you what, I've only shot this thing once, but I've been pleasantly surprised. You go over to dayattherange.com and you'll see the previous video where I first put this Savage Mark II TR in this particular chassis and shot it at 100 yards. I will say, out of this bolt action, it is the best 100 yard group I have shot, bar none. By the way, subscribe to Day at the Range and also hit that little bell notification down below so that you know when I post new videos. These videos are brought to you by you. That's right. You guys help me and inspire me to do these videos that are truly unbiased. As a matter of fact, I've not shot a round through this rifle today, and we're gonna shoot the dayattherange.com 22 challenge with the Savage Mark II to see how it compares with the other rifles on that challenge. Range fans, let's get out and make the 22 challenge call out over at dayattherange.com the largest on the internet. Cold bore shot. I'm not so sure about this. A little nervous. But uh, let's get to it. Oh, yeah. We've got a Vortex uh, 3 to 9 on top of this thing. It is a crystal clear scope. I did have a 6 to 18 on this thing, Weaver scope. But uh, I was shooting it and noticed the crosshairs started to just move a little bit. And I went, oh, maybe that's why my accuracy has been uh, not so good out of this particular rifle as of late. Early on, I knew this thing was a shooter. Well, um, I've sent that scope back. We'll see what Weaver has to say about it. It's not, it's not one of the cheap Weavers. It is, or more economical Weavers. It is one of the midline Weavers that was actually made in Japan. So we'll see what, would, see what they have to say about it. But again, go over see the 100 yard group that I shot with this thing. But for now, we're going for 50 yards. Cold bore shot, folks. I'm not so sure. Uh, here we go. Wish me luck. All right. I'd rather have it on eight. Good eye relief. Let's see. I like this uh, chassis or I wouldn't have it, right? But man, there's a relief here that I'll show you guys in some B-roll that you can lay your thumb against. And it just feels much more natural than wrapping my thumb underneath here as if it was a tactical situation. I don't know, feels better to me on the bench that way. But anyways, enough chatter. Put some rounds down range. Where did that go? No idea. Why can't I see it? Not sure. Hope that means it's dead center in the black. I don't think that cold bore shot was too good. I may have missed the target altogether, but you'll see the footage uh, and we'll check it out. Let's go to the next target. I've got 10 round magazine loaded in this thing.
Oh man. So I put way, or did I put 10 in here? Let's put one more round so that first target is going to be a mess anyways because um, I think it was off the target. We'll see what the footage tells us. But I'm going to shoot one more round on, the, on that middle target. And you know what? It definitely shoots better warmed up. So, we're going to put five more rounds in this thing. This is SK Rifle Match, by the way, that I'm using. So, we're going to put uh, five rounds in here. And shoot the third target. And hopefully, 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 the sun is playing tricks on me going up and down behind clouds. We're going to put five more rounds on the third target downrange. Then we're going to break out another Savage, a different kind of Savage. It is shooting a little low. I think I had it sighted that way because of the 100 yard line. And the fish shot. We'll go down range and see what those targets look like. And then I'm gonna break out this other Savage I brought out with me. It's an oldie, but hopefully still a goodie. We'll be right back. All right, folks, let's take this thing out and see these groups at a little bit more close range here. A little bit wider angle. All right, here we go. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. I did put six, and that first one was dead center. I just couldn't see it in that three to nine. Uh, eyes getting a little older, and tells you why a lot of these rim fire guys have t36s on top that's a great five shot group this one here not so much i don't know i feel like i could have did better there but i think this here is probably going to be my best five shot group that's of course if i do my part let's move on to that second savage what is this thing the second Savage we keep talking about. Range fans and Rimfire Central. If you remember back in the first video with the Savage Mark II TR and the Oryx chassis, first I shot with the TR standard stock and the best group I could ring out at 50 yards was 0 .492 inches. But then I swapped in the chassis system from Oryx and shot it at 100 yards and shot a max of 1.245 inches. Well, today in the Oryx chassis at 50 yards, I managed to eke out 0.477 inches with SK rifle match. That is a tighter group than the standard Mark II TR tactical stock where I turned in the 0.492. All right, range fans. And Rimfire Central, I told you, I'm giving Rimfire Central a shout out because those fellows over there truly helped me out. This is an old Savage Anschutz. Uh, yeah, it's an Anschutz imported by Savage back in the day. Still in great shape, great bluing, still shoots really nice, but I haven't shot it in so long because couldn't find magazines for it. Or I guess I could, uh, and when I did, they were terribly expensive, probably a little bit more expensive than 
I wanted to spend. Um, so just listening to the guys over at Rimfire Central, I went and got uh, some Savage magazines from Slade Street Tactical. Yep, Savage magazines from Slade Street Tactical. Took about five minutes of work of comparing the old magazine to the new magazine and the notches and went to work with a little file. And I tell you, it only took about five minutes. You can see that it locks in place there. And um, we're gonna see how it shoots today with this magazine. The other magazine would jam up on me and you can clearly see in the old original magazine that the spring was just weak and couldn't get anybody to tell me what spring I am supposed to use with that magazine or that it can even be replaced. Neither here nor there. I believe this thing really loved uh, RWS rifle match. So I'm gonna put five rounds in it. And as you've seen and as you are used to, totally unbiased here at dayattherange.com, what you see is what you get. So let's put five rounds in this thing. Somehow I skimped because I got seven rounds here at the top. So you know what? Let me make sure I don't shoot my camera and I will put two rounds on target first. And that's to make sure the magazine doesn't fall out as well. So, oh, look at that. Ooh, yeah. Fits. Oh, feeds like butter, folks. Let me test two rounds out of this thing. Got it on eight power. Oh, this is in the way. My ball head there. Yep. Uh, gotta adjust. Set on. Adjustable objective is set on 50. So let's put two rounds down and see what it does. A little high, I know that. But I think it does. I think I'm right. I think that is the ammo it likes. So we're going to shoot this RWS rifle target. Man, I don't mean to brag, but I did such a good job on that that uh, it's a pretty snug fit. A little bit hard to eject, but I'm going to live with it because these magazines, I got two of them, folks. Two of them. Slade Street Tactical. And I'll give them a shout out, too. But Slade Street Tactical... Um, websites, not so great, but I found them on eBay. Hope I'm not giving away any of his secrets. I found them on eBay a lot cheaper directly from Slade Street Tactical than on his website. So, um, if you're looking for Savage and Shoots magazine, you see that fits perfect. Can't pull it out. And I tell you a little small file in about five minutes, file a little bit. Check against the original, file a little bit, check against the original, and there it is, boom, my first time using it. I'm pretty proud of myself. Let's put this thing on target, see how we do. Now it's shooting a little high, so I'm going to aim for the bottom of the diamond. Control your breathing. Focus on the crosshairs. Follow through. That's three. Oh, proud of that magazine. I'll shoot this thing more now. That's four. Look at that, folks. And that's five. 
I think it'll shoot some better groups than that. I'm gonna shoot five more of this RWS rifle target. And then maybe I'll season the barrel with 10 rounds off camera of uh, the rifle match, SK rifle match. See if it likes that, because I think this thing, and I believe it has shot tighter groups, could be me though, folks. So tickled about this magazine. <laughs> All right. Five more right next to it. This time I'm going to aim dead center instead of using Kentucky Wendage. It's going to be off the diamond, but I want to see if I can tighten up the group. Tell you what, this trigger is amazing. Control your breathing, son. Control your breathing. All right, that's five, that's not too bad. But I tell you what, um, I don't know, you be the judge. You saw the targets. So before we show you the groups and the sizing of the groups, what do you think? Does the old Savage Anschutz beat out the Savage Oryx? I don't know. It's gonna be a pretty good call. Um, I'm gonna seize the, season the barrel and you know what? Video goes a little long, you guys might decide to turn away. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it on camera. I got some SK rifle match. Uh-oh, got some SK rifle match. And I am going to um, shoot 10 of these off camera or nine or something like that off on another target. And then I'll put the last five on target. See how this one does. Hmm, more to the point of aim. That's interesting. Oh, 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 uh oh, you know what? I know why those guys over at Rimfire Central like this SK rifle match, but I, I will tell you, I've been using it for years. Uh, when it started to get hard to find Wolf Target Extra, I started looking for a replacement. And the guys over at Rimfire Central, they recommended this SK rifle match many, many years back. And I've been using it. And you know what? It seems to shoot pretty well in all my rifles. Um, Semi-auto though, for some reason, doesn't seem to like it. Uh, let's put five more of these off target and off camera. <laughs> I don't know, fellas. <laughs> you tell me. 
which Savage? Again, Savage and Shoots or Savage Oryx? Well, it's going to put five rounds on the official target, and I'll show you my test target also of the nine rounds we put down range of the SK rifle match. I'll show you that towards the end. But again, join me, folks. Day at the Range on YouTube and dayattherange.com where you'll find unbiased reviews. You get it exactly as I see it, as I use it on the range. No fluff, not paid, all sponsored by and brought to by you, dayattherange.com range fans. Whew, trying to cool off a little bit. Five rounds on that last diamond down range. After all these years, this Savage and Shoes, the bolt is still very tight. What craftsmanship. Oh, it opened up because I was muscling it. Okay, folks. Okay. All right. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. One last group, and I promise you, I will hurry up because it's hot out here. And I don't know if you see these carpenter bees. They're about the size of 747s out here on the range. Uh, sometimes they can be very frustrating because, uh, boy, I tell you what, man, they are boring into our wood uh, sheds out here, causing quite a bit of damage and more than anything in my ear. Let's shoot five more on target. Shoot it at that middle. Relax, control your breathing, follow through. Relax, control your breathing, follow through. I think I got one more. Relax, control your breathing, and follow through. All right, there you have it, folks. We'll show you the, um, boy, that sun's really beating down today on this beautiful day that God has given us uh, to be out on the range for sure. Man, look at that thing. He's 747, waiting to come in for landing. Get on out of here. Geek, gone. <laughs> Boy. All right. So enough joking around today. I've had a wonderful time here on the range. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's inspired you to get your 22 long rifle back out on the range so that you can shoot in the 22 challenge call out, dayattherange.com. Mr. Revolver Guy, Heading down range to show you the target, but I'll be signing out. All right, 
let's take this thing off widen it out a little bit take this camera off and show you the dealio first of all this is the first nine rounds I put on target there with that RWS rifle and then here I went down to the SK Round it out a little bit more so that was the first five rounds there then I moved on to the second five rounds of RWS rifle target and then I move to the SK rifle match I shot that SK rifle match after seasoning the barrel with that group and then back down I shot my last group right there I don't know folks which savage would you choose join me at dayattherange.com for the 22 challenge call out look at this old savage and shoots do business smallest group second row center target at 0.365 inches whoo that's pretty good for today even beat out the old savage oryx but stay tuned folks because i'm gonna get both savages back out on the range with some sk pistol match you can see that bottom left target from the savage and suits turned in 0 0.402 inch grouping but before I leave, I want to call out my daughter and her husband, Bobby, Bobby Hill, calling you guys out. Let's go, John. Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out.